And just down the street from Tanner Chapel is First Institutional Baptist Church, where for 44 years, Pastor Warren Stewart Sr. has been preaching the gospel. And besides helping save countless souls, Pastor Stewart also played a pivotal role in helping make the MLK holiday become a reality here in Arizona. His preaching confronted people, y'all, about their sins. For 44 years, Dr. Warren Stewart Sr. has been preaching the gospel at First Institutional Baptist Church here in Phoenix. First and only church I've ever pastored in my life. While saving souls and advocating for numerous community endeavors, Dr. Stewart also played a huge role in helping the MLK holiday become a reality here in Arizona. I was offended that the state kept, kept disrespecting the life and legacy and ministry of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. by rejecting having a paid state holiday like the nation had. Arizona's quest to make King a holiday began a couple of years after his 1968 assassination. But years went by and the effort was met with a mountain of pushback, both from lawmakers and citizens who back in 1990 voted against having the King holiday. Most Arizonans viewed the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday as a black holiday. And since Arizona at that time only had three to three and a half, four percent African-American, well, we don't need a holiday for a black man because it ain't, it ain't that many of y'all. But Dr. Stewart and a coalition of advocates persevered and finally were able to change the hearts and minds of Arizonans. In May of 1986, then Arizona Governor Bruce Babbitt made history. Governor Babbitt declared and signed the executive order for Arizona's first Martin Luther King Jr. holiday from the pulpit. But he said something very prophetic. He said, you are going to have to fight for this. That was an understatement. And I had threats against my life. Arizona voters went back to the polls and in 1993 officially approved the MLK holiday. Stewart, who wrote a book about the experience as Dr. King's dream for equality for all, still lives today.